You're tuning into the Tech Me Show only on YouTube. Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to the Tech Me Show. This is Lance here. Well, today I'm going to show you a really cool feature that's built into, uh, well, Windows 8. And what exactly do I mean? Well, if you're like me, growing up we had like system monitors, especially on Linux. That was the cool thing to do and customize it, have it running on our screens. But now, some people say, well, Windows 8 cannot be in enterprise and it's not good for people who are making their own PCs, which I think is ridiculous. Now, why? Because you have a built-in system monitor. Now, obviously I'm talking about if you perform the controls, Control-Alt-Delete, right? Well, let's go ahead and do that real quick. And we'll go to Task Manager. And we'll go ahead and go to Performance. And as you see here, this obviously gives us information about our uh, devices and whatnot, just like a real uh, system monitor would, right? Now, what's the cool part about this, you might be asking? You know, you click this, voila, now you have all of your information that you could possibly need about your devices. So, yeah, it's not too customizable. You can stretch it and whatever. It looks kind of dumb if you do that. But you can have this just plopped up and uh, running on the side of your screen um, or not. But the best part is you have it there and you can see what you want. And it gives you all the information. If you double click it like I just did... Bam! Now you just have this, or you can just have a CPU monitor, right? Double click it, voila! Now this is great if you're doing development like myself. I can monitor how my app is doing and what, how much CPU usage it's doing. Obviously the program I'm using to record this is using a lot, but how cool is that? Just right in Task Manager, by going under Performance, you can now have something that tells you, well, how much memory you're doing, Wi-Fi if you want to keep track of that, uh, which is kind of cool. It tells you the adapter and whatnot, and you can choose different things. Just switch over to CPU, and if you right-click again, uh, you choose memory, and it's just overall a really cool thing. Now, when you go to CPU, you can change the graph to logical processors, which is really cool, and show kernel times, which is also pretty cool. Now, what else can you do? Well, let's go ahead and change over to memory. How cool is that? I think this is great. Um, and I think it's even cooler the fact that it's just built in. How would you ever think to maybe really look for that, you know? Uh, you probably wouldn't. Um, but look at network details. How cool is that? I think that's terrific. And the best part is, you can maximize it should you want to. Uh, but, yeah, I think this is a great feature that's built in. Uh, it's one less app I'm going to have to create or suggest uh, my clients uh, have if uh, they're going to figure out what's going on with their connection. But it's great. It just shows, you know, Microsoft is making a difference. You know, people get on my butt calling me a fanboy, but come on, guys. Look how cool this is. It's built in. So... I don't know. And as you see, I, this computer, laptop rather, has been up for three days straight. Uh, hopefully more. But anyways, this is Lance for the Tech Me Show. Keep coming back for more Windows 8 uh, reviews, tips, tricks. It's going to happen. I know a lot of you wanted to know, when am I going to do more? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And also go over to XDA Developers TV. That's where I am also uh, making a Windows Phone uh, 8 video coming up. So please tune into that. 